Okay, wow. Okay, hey everybody. So, um, I was almost done reacting to this, but then my timer went off for some brownies. So now I gotta start all over. Hi guys, it's your girl Lovely Peaches. Welcome to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel, please leave a subscribe. And um, today we're gonna to get to some channel? things. Nosy. What to today we're gonna talk. Um, this video is gonna be. This video is gonna be about hygiene. Um, I've seen a few females do a hygiene video, and I've seen this girl. She made a very good video, actually. Um, but when it came to the coochie part, she always said that she washes her, herself with unscented soap. And that was it. That's all she talked about. And in these hygiene videos, I always hear y'all talking about unscented soap, yada, yada, yada. But I never hear y'all actually talk about dush and things that were actually made for the vagina. So... Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. Um, as you can see, I'm one month away from my annual bath. Um, she says she one month away from her annual bath. You know what? That is so nasty on so many different levels. Like, you don't wash your vagina? Yeah, you said, well, um, y'all getting sneak peek. It's douchey. You got to wash your armpits. Do you shave? Nobody even asked that question. Do you shave your armpits? Do you shave your legs? Do you shave your vagina? Or whatever. Like, you got nice nails, but you're nice watching. You got your hair done. I don't understand. It looks like you can afford to take a bath. I take a bath, like, every year. And in January, I would say the ninth around uh, an um, estimate because... I forgot the exact day. I know it was a few days after my birthday. Um, also, my birthday is coming up. It will be January the 4th. I'll be making 19 years old. So I'm getting up there. Okay. So I'll be 19 years old January the 4th. I'm sorry, y'all. I heard a noise. So I'll be 19 January the 4th. And, well, yeah, we're going to be, me and my peachlings, we're going to be celebrating a whole year of me not taking a bath. Um, I try to take a bath at least every year. Every year or two, every one year or two years, I try to go at least as long as I can. Um, it's something very, to be very proud of. You know, you bitches could never, okay? You bitches could never in life, okay? Uh, so, I know y'all jealous. Y'all can never, okay? You bitches could never, <laughs> okay? So, anyways, um, even somebody like me, who, one thing about me, I feel like, baths are and are kind of like something that people just do to please other people to make other people feel for they feel like it makes them fit in you know people want to fit in these days but you know do whatever you want to do people live do whatever they want to do with their bodies is your body do whatever you want with it but i'm just saying my personal opinion is i feel like people do things to fit in and yeah just be like everybody else man this is great Ain't nobody trying to fit in, hunty. That's what you're supposed to do. It's not because of society. It's because you're supposed to wash your ass. Like, wash it. But I do take care of myself. I dush. And I want to show y'all some things I do for hygiene. A lot, like I said, a lot of other YouTubers. And one thing about me, I love watching YouTubers. I love watching YouTubers. I watch them a lot. I just, just be watching it on my TV. I be watching YouTubers on my TV. And I enjoy watching them because I find them entertaining. And yeah, it's my entertainment. I like that. So I know there's a lot of YouTubers who do a hygiene videos. And I was like, let me hop on this wave because none of y'all mentioned. So none of y'all mentioned this little thing right here. Okay? And y'all are so hygienic. But... Not one of y'all talked about this. It don't make sense. <laughs> so, I'm going to do it the right way, okay? Okay, first of all, when you want to take a bath, you get, in, you get in the bath. You got the soap. Use whatever soap you want. Um, I feel like you already know how to do that. You get in the bath, you put some soap on the cloth, you wipe yourself, and then you're done. I mean... You wipe yourself. I'm talking. This is for this video is mostly for ladies, by the way. We caught that. Um, you wipe yourself, and then what you do is me, since I don't like to get in the tub or the shower or anything, I take this stuff, 
or Summer's Eve, anything that was designed for your vagina. Summer's Eve, Vagisil, anything that was made for your vagina because it's made for it. I don't understand people say don't use that. You're not making sense. This was made for your vagina, okay? Okay, let's get into this again. For the last effing time, it's vagina. It's not vagina. What is vagina? Are you trying to say Virginia? Like, can we get feminine women's body parts correct? And yes, you can use Vagisil, but Summer's Eve is not a very good one to use. Like, that, that, that you could mess up your whole pH balance. I don't know who told y'all it wasn't. It's, it's literally in the, fem, in the feminine, um, in the feminine section of the store. With all the other feminine things like your tampons and stuff. This was made for your vagina. I don't know who told y'all not to use it. But this was made for the vagina. Okay. Um. So since I don't really like to shower or take a bath sometimes. I'll take some of this. Um. I'll rub it on my hand. I just kind of go like this. And I'll leave it there. Um. You're supposed to take a towel and stuff and wash it. And then she says later on in the video you take it. And you like stick it in? I know. That's not, no, no, that's not how you wash. That's also a good way to take care of yourself. I'll, I'll, um, if you don't like, if you're like me and you like to take a bath once a year, two years, three years, four years tops, um, you ain't Who goes four years without taking a bath? That's nasty. You have to get in. You just have to pour some of this stuff on your hand. I'm not going to pour it on there because I like to waste. Things cost money. I work hard, so I don't like to waste. But you want to put some of this on your hand. Um, I would say about, about maybe this bit. Maybe this bit. You want to put like, you want to at least fill your hand a little. You want to fill your hand at least a little. And this is just for people who don't like taking baths. If you like taking baths, you can do this in the shower, wash it out, whatever. But if you're like me, if you're like me, you can pour it on your hand and you put it down there and you go inside yourself with your fingers. You're going to go deep inside yourself. That way it's all in there. So you're going to go deep inside of it. No. So you're going to push it. You're going to push all of it in there. No. And you're going to leave it there. And that's, no. That's a good way to take care of yourself. No. Just, you know, like to get in the tub like me. Um, mm. So sometimes I do that. This stuff was made for your vagina. How you use it is on you. But it was made for your vagina. You don't listen to the idiots that say don't use this stuff. It don't make sense. Summer's Eve, Vagisil, and I'm going to get to dish in a minute. But all the stuff that's made for your vagina is made for your vagina. Um, personally, I don't think you should put... A lot of soaps will burn your vagina. And yeah, that's why you use this. You're not supposed to even use unscented soap. You're supposed to use this for your vagina. Okay, but you can't use you can't use unscented. So I'm not gonna say you're not supposed to use it, but this was actually what you're supposed to use, what it's made for. Summer's Eve, Vagisil, Dush, and other things that are around this area. There's gonna be other um, brands that you see on there. I only really use Vagisil. I use Summer's Eve sometimes, but it was irritating me. But yeah, that's what it's made for. And if you read on the back, it says. I want to read what it says about it. It says, only Vagisil pH balance wash. Use an every day to help maintain a healthy pH balance. A balanced pH balance is an important step towards good intimate health. Let it fresh, yada, yada, yada. Basically, it just says that this is for your fucking pussy. And period. That's Walker. what it says. That's what it's for. If it wasn't made for it, if it wasn't made for it, then they wouldn't sell it. They wouldn't sell something bad for you. They would not sell this if you're not supposed to use it. Seriously, I don't give people theories on that. Um... I was about to say they also have the spray um they have this deodorant spray for your vagina it's um you, you can find it i wish i had some but i don't have no more i ran out of that shit months ago and this just was pretty pretty okay for me so i haven't replaced we'll it um they have this some of y'all know what i'm talking about some of y'all don't but you're gonna go in the feminine aisle where they sell these products and you're gonna get the Feminine is spray, it's deodorant, but it's for your pussy. So you go get that deodorant and you go spray down there. That's what it's for. It's deodorant. You do not spray it directly on your vagina. You're supposed to put it on your underwear and like fan it. You're not supposed to do that, what she's saying. Mm -mm. Deodorant and you spray it down there. Okay, it's deodorant for your vagina. That's very good. 
perfect to use. They also have the wipes that are made for that. Anything with Summer's Eve on it. Um, Not on Summer's Eve. So you got that spray, mm -hmm. and yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's made by Summer's Eve, actually. And you're going to spray that deodorant down there. Now, I wanted to save the best for last. This is made by Summer's Eve, actually. This is Summer's Eve product. Um, dish is very important. Um, dish... One of the pro one of the things I want to say is that scented dish, it's, it makes you smell better, but it depends on your body type because I couldn't handle scented dish. It was burning the hell out of me. So I had to go in with the um the romance type. There's unscented dish, there's regular, there's for sensitive. There's all type of dish. Whatever dish is for you, but it is important to dish, especially if you're sexually active, which I am. So Dush is very, very important. I dush every day. Well, at least I dush every day, at least twice. Um, I use the whole bottle most of the time, but it was kind of burning me tonight. I don't know if it's because I just finished, you know. But dush is very, very important. You're supposed to dush. Anybody who tells you you shouldn't dush is fucking delusional. You're supposed to dush, um, especially if you're sexually active. It gets all the all the cum out of you. It gets all the germs out of you. You, you push the dush. LVL is too vulgar for YouTube. Like, why are you talking about white stuff, okay? Like, we... Talk about what you're talking about, but why do you talk about that? Deep in there, and you squeeze that bitch. And it basically just takes all the bugs out, the fumes, everything. Because... <laughs> Let me tell you something. Even with doing all of this, you're still going to smell very bad down there because it's normal. But I'm telling you things to do that helps that. It helps the bugs to stop biting as much. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really stuffed up. But it's really good on my nerves. <laughs> Are you serious? Bugs? Just go wash. Go wash. <laughs> Because I really wanted to, I really want to record some tracks tonight, but I'm like really, really stuffed up. So it's really just like, is she really? I'll just write some tracks instead really? and record next week because my, my nose is really stuffed up. Um, one thing about females is we have a really, really bad odor downstairs. So even with all of this stuff, you're still going. Whoa, I almost dropped y'all. If you have a bad odor, go to a gynecologist, please. Like, you don't want your man or your woman, if you swing that way, to go down there and smell you. And this lady saying that it smelled, we all got a bad odor, not all the time. And then you saying it's burning. I think you got a yeast infection. I ain't gonna lie. Steak really bad, but without it, nor have mercy. <laughs> like, bruh. One thing about females, we can be eating our food, and we will literally, like, if our legs are open, we can pass out. We can throw up. When I was pregnant. Oh, so now you're a mom too? Okay, so when you gave birth and the doctor was down there, if it was that way, he smelled that? Oh, Lord. I could smell myself, like seriously. When I was pregnant, just smelling myself. Hey, you said you ain't showered in a whole year. You said you smell yourself when you was pregnant and you felt nauseous. Like, you did that to yourself. Like, there ain't nothing to do with the pregnancy. That has something to do with you. It's just nasty. So, yeah, that's one of the worst things going through when you're pregnant is having to smell that nasty ass pussy. And that's just stink. But as a female, our vaginas are always going to be stink. They stink. It's just that twerk one is going to be uh, okay? It's just natural. You're going to have bugs. You're going to have bumps. You're going to have warts. It's normal being a female. Some of the stuff I understand, like, yeah, you might get a bump, but the thing she's saying about the bugs, just no. No, no. You know, one thing about me is that I'm realistic. A lot of people, they want to sugarcoat stuff. No, every female goes through this. We have bumps. We have these gigantic warts that just grow out of nowhere. We have this green, gooey, mushy stuff coming out of us. She grosses me out. What is the green stuff? Is something green that coming out of you? You really need to go see a doctor. That's the nastiest fuck. 24-7, it looks like it's not. Every few days, we get a whole load of green gooey stuff in our underwears. So, it's just normal. If you're wearing white underwear, you're going to you're gonna go to the bathroom. You'll see a bunch of green, sticky stuff. It's just normal. It's not green. Ew. It's stuff that we have to go through as females. 
But when you dush, you don't have to go through it as much. When you dush, you can see all this green stuff start just coming out. It's good to dush over a towel or just sit, just stand in the tub and dush, you know. You're going to see all this green stuff come out. You're going to see a bunch of stuff come out of your vagina when you dush. You just have to look down and look at what's going on when you dush. Um... So, yeah, dushing is very, very important. I'm telling y'all, dushing is important. It's the only way to get the germs out of you. It's the only way to get the gooey stuff. It's the only way to attack the bugs because it's kind of like it's kind of like pouring Clorox on honey. Like, you, you drop some honey on the floor, all the roaches, ants, flies, rats, they don't, they all going to go to that honey. But you pour that Clorox on them, them bitches going to die. They, drink, they eat that honey with the Clorox on them, them bitches. Mm -hmm. Hell no gonna die so this is like clorox to the bugs you, you put it up there them bugs gonna go Shish! <gasps> ah! okay they're gonna die so dushing is very important honestly it's very 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 important to dush um if you're a virgin maybe you don't have to dush until you um become sexually active um dushing is very very important don't let nobody tell you it's not um so basically, as you can tell, this video is for women because, yeah, I didn't really talk about hygiene. Hygiene, I talked about our vaginas and what we have to do to keep them somewhat going. Um, dush is very important. Don't let, don't let nobody tell you it's not. Dush is very, very important. You're supposed to dush. You're supposed to dush. Fuck bathing, but at least dush. You don't have to bath, shower, whatever. You don't need to bath and shower. What's the point? But you have to dush if you want to keep at least somewhat of a healthy vagina. If you tell them bugs biting your insides, biting your intestines, use this motherfucking dush. Okay? Dush is important. Every woman is supposed to dush. Every woman is supposed to dush. I'm not sure about versions. I know once you become sexually active and your whatever is no longer intact you're gonna need this this is important um you could do it once a week me personally i do it every single day i keep myself full <laughs> you are not supposed to douche every day <laughs> who told her that where is she getting her information from yo like where are you getting it from of dush um I buy when I go to the store. I buy when I when I save up and I finally go to the store and I have a little extra money. I buy like maybe ten boxes of this stuff. You're not supposed to run out. You suppose when you have when you have a chance, get dush. To be honest, get dush. Um, they they vary at uh, different prices. Um, they have the boxes where they have like five boxes in there. You get like five if you get like five of those five boxes. Five times five is five times five is four so you have at least four dishes so use this dish okay okay you know i know my little simple math she said five times five is four did she mean 25 like come on this is important seriously this is very important that's basically what's the point of me doing this video um if you don't want to take a bath i already told you what you can do with this but if you do take a bath use it you know you're supposed to use you're supposed to use feminine products and my point of doing this video was to basically to outsell y'all who did them them, them trash ass videos and not one of y'all said anything about summer's eve not one of y'all said anything about dush and y'all take way more baths than me so i don't understand y'all said y'all should know about dush if y'all so clean y'all so clean but don't even know what a dush is okay so why you talking shit and you doing these videos at least make sure you bring up dushing, okay? But anyways, this is very important. You need to do it. Summer's Eve and Vagisil is also important. Thank you for watching my hygiene video. I hope you guys liked it. Peaches loves you. Mwah. My Snapchat is P loves you too. P L O V E S Y A and the number two. P L O V E S Y A and the number two. P L O V E S Y A number two. All right. P L O V E S Y A and the number two. I post very exclusive content behind the scenes stuff. I post nudes, my my little sex videos, everything. You know, I post very exclusive content that you can't get on my Instagram. You can't get it nowhere else. P loves ya too. P L O V 
B-E-S-Y-A and the number two. P loves ya too. My Snapchat. P-L-O-V-E-S-Y-A and the number two. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go dish again because the bugs are starting to bite. And we're going to leave me some suggestions in the comments on what you want me to talk about next. Um, Peaches loves you. My Snapchat is P-O-O. V E S Y A the number two oh, and my Snapchat for sex videos, exclusive content and news. Bye. Mwah.